Okay, there was something we didn't cover in part one, which I think should be covered. Um, I should quickly conclude. How to write outputs. Now, these are the outputs, of course, to the right. Okay, so all you need to do to write for VA, check everywhere where VA appears, and you write it in terms of the steps. Okay, write outputs in terms of steps. We wrote, we wrote steps in terms of all the steps and the transitions. So this time, this time we're writing outputs in terms of steps. Okay, so VA, the only place it's appearing is here. So it's equal to state one, okay? Straight up like that. And um, next to I1, the places where I1 is appearing is um, here and here, okay, just those two places. So that is why you see I1 is state one or state two. Those are the two places where it appears, okay? And um, VB only appears here, I guess. Yep, so that's why it's straight equal to state two. So let's use M as an important one. The only place where M appears is here. Now the only place where, is it just here? No, here and here. So that's why it is state three and state five. So we keep writing like that, but that happens to be the same thing with I2, just here and here. Okay, those are the only two places where I2 also appears. So it happens to have the same expression as M. So when you're drawing the, the FBD, it's good, literally gonna be the same thing. So another thing you is you find a lot of or, okay, you find a lot of or expression, plus, plus, plus everywhere, okay? So that is why we have that there. So M and I2, you see them here. So you branch them together because they have the same expression, and this is that expression, X5 or X3 or X5. So it's true for both M and I2. So that's it. So this is the second part of all the things. Thank you very much, guys. It's been awesome. Okay, so um, let's go to the next question, which is about um, SCADA, etc. I think we've talked about that here. This third part, let's touch on this third part. Analog div digital conversion calculation, SCADAs, SCADAs versus DSC, and RTEs versus PLCs. Okay, so it's good. the questions that have been repeated are stuff like a SCADA system is comprising five different components. What are those components and name them? The four main functions of a scatter system, or you get a question that's gonna say, name two examples of scatter, of processes scatter can be applied to. Okay, this marking description, I have a fairly different opinion about this marking description right now than when I was analyzing earlier. Okay, so next, um, and that was because he said it just yesterday that the questions are not gonna have equal marks, so this might be different. So I refer to the earlier video for what I think might be the more recent, or my more recent opinion for what I think the market distribution is going to be. So in the early phase of the design of the scatter system, a company um, determined the scanning intervals, okay? Blah, 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 and they give you a specification. These are repeated questions around that topic based on past questions, okay? And uh, to give you some things, they give you the efficiency, or you ask a question like this difference between OPC and SCADA was in one of the past questions and difference between SCADA and DSC systems okay so we're just going to touch part of those questions that are in our syllabus in things that we've been taught okay you can ignore that part okay so question one and that's the new uh, the SFC part so analog to the digital conversion it will probably ask you to show full calculations because those things are very easy so you want to show every step of your calculations so as to um, get the maximum marks okay so um, you probably know this accuracy is this or this this is very easy okay so show every step of the way to him and this is also easy actually I use log 10 because I don't know how to do log 2 on my calculator and it's still the same you still get the same thing when you do it like that okay um, what else so this, uh, you also know this is simple, blah, blah, blah. This is also simple, so you can run through that yourself. I don't have much time and um, literally don't have much space on my phone for a large video. Okay. Anyway, so that's that about precision and all that. Now, what does it mean? I don't know if you mentioned this or I came late. It means, what, what precision means? So it means, yes, it did. Yeah. It's going to be between X plus or minus uh, that value. Okay. All right, now uh, five, you can get this, I think in lecture 10, SCADA is lecture 10, if I'm correct. And the other part is lecture five, I think. Okay, so 
um, the five components of SCADA, okay, is supervisory computer system, you have the central or field-based HMI, okay, you have the remote RT communication. I merged these two together. You see them as two different types, okay, but the question says, what are the five components? That's in the past years. So by notice, two of his components are very similar. They're both HMIs. One is central, the other is field-based, okay. And RTU, that's what it does. You might want to screenshot this if you can, but you find that you find all of that in the notes, but slightly different. Okay, I just uh, paraphrased it and condensed it very tightly. So, what are the four main functions that this kind of performs? Well, supervision, data gathering, the measurements, control, and communication. That's what I think it is. I don't think it's spelled out that way in our in our materials, but I think that those are the four. That's if he asks, but he didn't. I don't think he spelled it out in our material. So two two examples of industrial processes that scatter can be applied to. I picked two water <clears throat> water flow and electric flow. Water purification and distribution, okay, because they're actually kind of similar in the way they operate water and electricity. Okay, so water purification and distribution and distribution is one thing that scatter can be used for. Another is electric electrical generation and transmission. Difference between RTUs and PLCs is here. This is more expensive, that is cheaper. This is, you can screenshot this also if you want. Pause and screenshot. There you go. Boom. Yeah. So, this is easier to program. This is more tough and weather resistant. This is more fragile. And this has backup power usually. And PLCs usually are not rechargeable. So, these are the benefits of scatter. You have remote access. You have a time and personnel efficiency save resources quicker invoicing protection of plant equipment and environment and the and the environment and then the system has energy efficiency due to optimization okay so these are the similarities they both have supervisory I just mapped um, components of SCADA to that of PLC a little bit we can check that it's not that way in the lecture notes of course but uh, somewhere else you might want to screenshot this bit also one two okay yeah so that's that so and these are the differences okay so you have um, remote supervision and control is usually locally controlled control algorithms cannot be easily changed it's the opposite there this is large scale this is mid scale this use wider communication protocols like GSM, uh, GPRS, like that. It's mid-scale protocols. It's less resistant to harsh condi conditions. I think, we've said some, I think we've said something like that before that. So more suitable to time-sensitive systems, things that have to do with alarm safety and things you need to respond to faster. That's SCADA. And this is opposite of that. And this is not as safe and can be hacked because you you have to carry information over a distance. Okay. So, and that's that about about the difference scatter and DSC. All right, thank you guys.